Okay, uh, fellow YouTubers, what I want to talk to you about today, uh, this is Jack Guy, is the One Hound Duplicator i3. Uh, this is kind of the X and Z axis blueprinting video. And by blueprinting, what I mean is we're going to do a general alignment, kind of in the same way that in an engine block, uh, when you take it out and over time they warp. Uh, you know, a machinist is going to go through and he's going to make sure that every hole, every passageway is uh, square and true and that, uh, you know, basically everything's in general alignment. So we're going to do kind of the same thing here um, to kind of improve print quality. So I'm going to go ahead and, and try and position the camera here. I apologize for any shakiness in the video. It's kind of hard to shoot these uh, and move the print around and so forth. So let me just set this here for a second and see if you guys can see this. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the printer around and what we've got to do is go on ahead and raise the z-axis uh, all the way up to the top. So we're just going to go ahead and raise the z-axis up by hand. Kind of make this easy here, turn both lead screws. And uh, one of the other things that we have to do here while I'm raising the z-axis is we need to detension the x-axis belt here and I'll show you why in a second but basically the whole idea here is that the frame may get slightly tweaked in shipping and so forth or when they assemble these at the factory sometimes these x rods are loose you'll find that they're not attached in the ends uh, so one of the things that we kinda have to do here is first uh, you gotta remember that the the belt here the motors on this side the idlers on this side is constantly trying to pull the two ends together so as you get towards the middle of the Z rods, if your X axis rods are not locked in the ends and this isn't basically like a one piece unit as assembled, uh, what happens is when you get to the middle of the rods, then that belt's constantly pulling. And so rather than having a solid uh, kind of point to push on and off against as you're moving X, what you're doing now is you're basically jerking the rods around and that's why you won't get layer alignment. So, you know, we have the classic Z coupler problem, which most people are trying to resolve by putting soft couplers in or putting dampers. I went ahead and just went the extra mile and put both in just because I had them sitting here. Uh, but again, the, the thing that we're actually going to address here is basically blueprinting our axis so that it slides up and down freely. And also at the same time, we want to ensure that these rods are positively locked into these two axes. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, actually remove the screws and you're just going to remove one that's holding the belt. In my case, I've already gone ahead and done another mod that I've spoken about and that is simply putting uh, longer screws in and the main reason is to help with belt alignment. Uh, so, you know, don't worry about that on yours. Basically what you'll have is there'll be the, uh, the same screws and you just remove them. We only need to remove one side because, again, all we're trying to do here is, uh, is basically take the belt tension out. We don't want any pull from the belt uh, giving us a false sense of alignment. So, again, what I've done here is I've got, the, uh, I've got my screw out. My belt's completely loose. Now, it's probably easiest if you go ahead and turn the printer um, like this, which is going to make this difficult to see with the camera. Um, let me see if I can move here and see, show you guys a little bit better what I'm talking about. So hopefully you can see right here, there's a set screw and the end of these little blocks. And they're the same blocks that are used on Y. They're also found at the top of Z, but there's a set screw right here. So basically what you want to do with the axes loose is you're going to take the smallest Allen key in the kit and you're going to insert that into the hole and you're going to loosen the screw and then you're just going to kind of wiggle the axis a little bit and then you're going to tighten the screw now the one that's going to be a lot harder to get through but you can still get through the uh, basically the opening where the belt goes is going to be the upper one and sorry it's going to be like impossible to kind of show you guys uh, really well in a video but it's identical here you see the lower one you can clearly see it same thing on both sides. And you can see, you just kind of want to center the rod. It doesn't have to be perfect one way or the other. The idea is that it has to be absolutely locked down. 
And what we're doing is we're doing it with zero belt tension. We want the belt completely loose. We want it all the way up on the axis at one end. And then we're going to go ahead and lock down these screws. And you want to do it as tight as you can without stripping the screw, which is going to be kind of a feel kind of thing. Uh, because what will happen is these Allen keys generally tend to strip in those small screws. It's really not a big deal. The idea is you've got to get it tight. And that's this is key to actually aligning the entire axis. And, uh, and then once you have that done, uh, you know, at this point in time, it's kind of due good to do a couple mods at once so I might combine this with doing the Z mod where I would actually go ahead and remove my Z motors add my couplers add the damper do whatever you need to do as far as that because the, your axis is already at the top makes it quick and easy um, and that's pretty much it that's what's what what the big alignment is and it's pretty simple to do but it's just an understanding of where that screw actually sits and what it does it locks the rod so it can't slide back and forth in the end block and you have to do it on both sides because what you want to do is you want to set this this x-axis up so that it's one piece basically when it's all bolted and clamped together and then you retension the belt against this then the belt is pulling against this spot where the rod is tensioned rather than trying to pull against the long vertical Z rods which are going to bow in at the middle basically right and so this is really going to help with overall alignment ringing and other kind of issues uh, that we're kind of seeing when these are shipped and again it's just a matter of stuff happens when sh when these are shipped and it's getting knocked out of alignment so we're just trying to correct those things thank you